Real estate is about location, location, location. I'll read an article from Zero Hedge regards to Manhattan's apartment rents dive to decade low as inventory swells. As expected, given the dramatic of the pandemic driven exodus in, from New York, Manhattan's rental market has witnessed another massive plunge in rents, falling to 10 year low. No surprise. According to Bloomberg, citing a new report from appraiser Miller Samuel Inc., the brokerage Douglas Illiman Real Estate, the borough's median rental price plunged 22% in November from a year earlier to $2,743 a month. Wow. It says in a previously Douglas Illiman and Samuel Miller report, it was noted that more than 15,000 empty rental apartments were in Manhattan in August as the inventory of empty units hit 14-year highs. In October, the inventory was still above 15,000 with a vacancy rate around 6.14%, a record high. Downward pressure on rents is expected to continue to into the first quarter of 2021 as restaurant restrictions and nightlife have been muted by extremely strict social distancing restrictions. Employers have yet to call back workers into offices as remote working pushes city dwellers out of the suburbs. Well, that's gonna be the norm. More and more people are gonna be working from home. The surge in empty apartments was widespread across the borough. Landlords are becoming desperate, offering moving incentives on 57% of all new Manhattan deals last month. Wow. So far, the incentives have worked. Newly signed leases soared 30% last month to 4015 The biggest November total in more than a decade, Miller said. But... There's so much inventory that it hardly made a dent in supply. Other boroughs across the metro area in November saw rent declines as well, with landlords offering huge incentives. Brooklyn rents dropped 8.3% to a medium of 2,619, while inventory rose to 4,137 in Northwest Queens, including the waterfront neighborhood of Long Island City, rents plunged 21% to a medium of 2,275. The virus effect on New York City has crushed the rental market, if that is residential and or commercial, and it is not just in the US. Apartment prices in some of the world's wealthiest cities are starting to show the effects of the exuous out of crowded city areas to move to more spacious suburbs. That's why it's vitally important to invest in the right place, in the right location. It's all about location, location, location.